That's funny as shit. I've yeah. done it multiple times, and it's very odd. Yeah. But I don't yeah. know why we feel like we have to, but we just do it yeah. anyways. It's, it's, yeah. yeah. So I look like, at other like fat people that eat, and I'm like, fucking pig. <laughs> as I'm eating my fucking filet fish <laughs> I can't believe you're eating that stuff. What, when did you get it though? <laughs> it looks fresh. <laughs> it looks good. Yeah. No, but that's what. In five, four, three, two. Hello. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Bring him in, dude. Bring him in. Oh, everybody, go get it. How many times have you been on this podcast? I don't know. Who does the intro? You do. I do the fucking intro. All oh, right. And I'm now sorry. we're going to have to start all over again because your downy ass voice <laughs> downy <laughs> just interrupted it. In five, four, three, two, one. Welcome, everybody, to a new episode of the Genius Brain Podcast. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I you, just can't, you just can't help. What do you want to say? I want to say, before I say, say anything, I just want I really appreciate I really, you know, okay, here's the thing. I, I was talking to Patrick. Okay, remember that go one go. time I was talking go. to Patrick? Go, go. <laughs> okay, this is a real thing. I was talking to Patrick that I was like, it is really cool that um, I'm on your podcast because I watch you. I know I've said this before, but seriously, because of the thing is, um, because you're Asian. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> Dude, you're the Asian Bro, podcast. Literally you're the when Asian you video talk, guy. you're the Words Asian. fight with each other in your head and then whoever doesn't die comes out. But you get it though. Hey, dude, you're the Asian, all right? Yeah, you know what I mean? So yeah. it is nice. So the I want to say that. You're the Asian. Yeah, it's I'll really nice. Remember you thought you remember I was I told you, you that? You thought I was bullshitting. I know. I thought you were bullshitting. It's not, he has trust issues because I was like, oh yeah, like Dave. Like, I thought I, you were bullshitting too. We were kicking it. Yeah, like, it's it's funny. I was like, I'll recommend you to, to David. And he was like, oh, yeah. Like, and then he was like, you're it's not you're like lying. my podcast is like fucking popping. No, but popping. It, it, I don't care about the thing. It's just. But he's a, he was a long yeah, time I was fan, a fan. Dude. Like, honestly. That's Jason's so, gay, dude. That, honestly. <laughs> Jason's actually out of the closet gay. Yeah, but it, and what's the problem? That's okay. Yeah, that's hey, what I'm I want to know. Do you get because your 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 therapist diagnosed you with uh, autism? Do you do you get a handicap thing? Do you get one of those blue things or no? I, I'm gonna try to get one. Get one. Yeah, it's good parking. Yeah, and uh, people give you the benefit of the doubt. People you don't you even the need the, the parking placard. You just walk out and say <laughs> hi, and they know. <laughs> Hi, my name is Jess. Oh, yeah, he's okay. He's good. He's yeah. He forgot his placard at home. Yeah, everyone just like, hey, just get like, go, yes, you can go first, yeah. Jason. Yeah. I do have trust issues, though. Yeah, you yeah. do, I know. Yeah. Well, why I was, did you think that you that I would invite you to my podcast? He thought I was going to backstab him or something. What do you think? Yeah, and you know how, and, and this is another thing, too, and this is an honest thing. It's really nice to be on your podcast. It is, but the thing is this. Sometimes I go, hey, I just want to do a goofy good time because I was, I was like, oh, it's even cool is cool to hang too and be, uh, do you know what I mean? Like be a person and not have a weird thing, but it is cool to be, do you know what I mean? I have no idea what you just said Doc, right now. And do you I don't know think what I just said? podcast has been going for three minutes and I don't know what the fuck he said they get at it. all. They get it. <laughs> so I know the producer has met Jason once and she's like, is he a like real person? <laughs> I don't know what Jason said, but I know that he meant it from deep down in his heart. Whatever, whatever <laughs> he just said. Sincere, but I don't know what the fuck it is. <laughs> whatever he just yeah, said. Yeah, you did, man. <laughs> yeah, you did. Look into my eye. <laughs> whatever he said, there was a lot of passion there. <laughs> oh. I, just, I don't know what it is, but he meant that shit a lot. So I, we, I appreciate it. CTE, but you're not a fighter, dude. What's That's crazy. CTE? What's it? Oh, hey, well, you have it. Don't worry. <laughs> I appreciate your sincerity, man. Yeah. I don't know what you said, but I appreciate your sincerity. Yeah. What do you try to communicate? But you know you what Labrador? I mean, though. I think something good. <laughs> <laughs> from what I, from what I'm assuming, it's a uh, good. Sounds like something. Yeah, good. it's just sometimes because you know sometimes it is weird Ooh. to be like, oh man, because um, you are the Asian thing, right? You're All the right. Asian thing, dude. You know what I mean? You're the big Asian, Asian penis. <laughs> Asian eyebrows, <laughs> shiny face, big potato. Shiny face. <laughs> shiny face. One day I use sunscreen and I'm called shiny face. Yeah, you know. I think shiny you face, should go, potato. your title should be the big Asian <laughs> the thing. Big Asian. <laughs> the big Asian thing, dude. Yeah. Just put that under your data you know cell, the big Asian I, I, thing. I will say this though, right? When people come on this podcast, they mm. do have to understand I am not universally loved by most people. Like half people really fuck with me. The other half fucking hates me. Yeah, but that's the, that's the, Authenticity, and that's what I want to do, and I think that's what all comics want to do is to be authentic. Yeah, and, and I really do I, take that page off of just comics. You know what I mean? Because I started in stand up. Yeah, and I feel like even if people get butt hurt, people, you know, talk shit or whatever, 
at least it's said and it's put out there. Mm. You know mm. what I'm saying? But now it's like, if people come on this podcast, they have this fear of like, oh, what's he going to ask me? What's, it was like, well, if you're not comfortable being yourself or mm. s- expressing your thoughts, then maybe you shouldn't come on this podcast. You know what I'm saying? Sure, right. Or like if I dislike something that somebody does, I'll speak, I'll say, I'm not like trying to take them down. I'm just like, oh, that's fucking weird. And mm-hmm. they're like, well, why'd you have to do that? I'm like, well, why not? But a lot of the times it's not from hate. It's just an opinion. It's an opinion. It's observation. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so, but people act like in the regular world, people don't do that. That's normal. Yeah. And so like, I feel like in this space, everybody wants to feel like they have to be protected by others. I think and, it's just because of the industry. Yes, yeah, the industry, yeah, right? That you don't, you're not supposed to be mm-hmm. negative. Yeah, and it's like, I have no responsibility to you as a person at all. Mm-hmm. Like you're in the entertainment space, you create art, your art's supposed to be judged no matter what, mm-hmm. right? And like, look, I, even this, right? Like I went on um, um, The Fighter and the Kid, mm-hmm. right? And then when we did the whole Brendan Shop thing, I asked him like, hey, like, what do you feel about putting up like a bad special that people didn't like? You said that? Yes, because that's true, right? <laughs> That's was, not bad. Was this, not was, bad. Was this but just hilarious? Was this before or after Gringo Poppy? Was it Gringo Poppy? No, it was before. It was the first oh. one, right? And I was like, people didn't like it, right? And yeah. it arguably wasn't that good. Yeah. It was something along those lines. It was, I, I worded it nicely, right? And basically what I wanted to get about was like, not to like shit on him, but it's like, I wanted to know, wh- wh- how does that feel? You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like, how does it feel to produce a big piece of shit? Dude? <laughs> no, not like that. I said it nice, though. I said no, it no, nice. no, no, no. How does it feel to try your best and flop? <laughs> right in your face. <laughs> right in your face forever. Hey, you want to get forever, to reach after? <laughs> no, no, no. What, wow. I, what I basically want to get was like, and that's a real good question in my personal opinion, because it's not like. How does it feel? Like, when you read through the comments, it's glowing reviews, right? But this is his like first big special. So I'm curious to like, how do you overcome this? And what do you do with this? Right. And -hmm. then like people were like, dude, you fucking ripped on. I'm like, I I didn't even do that. I'm actually just curious because that's a huge fear of any comic Mm -hmm. to put out a special and then Mm -hmm. for people to not receive it the way that you want it to. And so when I did that, people were shocked. I'm like, that shouldn't even be shocking. Like that's a normal thing to ask somebody. Right. Because it's not, Brendan Shop's not stupid. He knows, he knows people didn't like it. Right. So it's like, uh, for me, as a, as I listened to the fighter and the kid when it was him and just it's just him and um, right. yeah, so I I was kind of curious and I I genuinely wanted to know. So people were like, dude, I can't believe he said that to his face. I'm like, but that's not even a burn. Yeah, that's just well, like I think in today's world, people think like because it, it's just a real question. But if it's like at all, it's not even confrontational. It's just something that's like a dis not a disagreement like even. It's just like. It, 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 people are so like beat around the bush or shit. If you're direct mm. about something, people are like, oh, he's burnt. He's roasting him. It's yeah. not a roast. It's just like, this is a direct, uh, maybe a little uncomfortable, but it's like, it's just some real ass shit to ask somebody, you know, it doesn't yeah. necessarily mean it's Yeah, and burnt. like, you know, to defend him as well too, by the way, like I read comments about him where people say, Yo, his fucking, he's the worst stand-up comic ever. I was like, I don't think you've been to comedy clubs. Right. Yeah. Like he is nowhere not the worst. near the fucking worst. Right. He's actually actually not even that bad. Like he's he's okay. I, I think we're and I've thought about this a lot just because I've seen so much hate go towards him. I'm like, what is it that people hate about him so much? Cause I couldn't figure it out. Like I get why you don't like his stand-up, but for people to go out of their way and create individual channels to go and hurt him, take money out of his pocket when he has a family and kids. Yeah. I, till this day, I will still not condone it and I don't understand it. Like yeah. there are specific dedicated channels <laughs> that watch him religiously just so they could create content off of him. Yeah. To, right. to feed the fan base that hates him, mm. which I don't understand why. I mean, look, it's YouTube. You do whatever the fuck you want. Sure. Like I'm, I'll even defend that person who does it because you can do whatever. I just, I can't wrap my head around it. Yeah. But then I did, I, I started to, kind of like read the comments and see like, okay, let me just dig into why people hate him so much, right? And hate is a very strong word. Let's just say dislike. And I think what it is, is that people tend to want to shit on people who feel like they don't deserve what they have, right? So he got kind of catapulted to his area because he's connected with Joe Rogan and a few other comics. And I don't think, and I thought to myself at that point, like, that's not even a problem either. Why is that such a big issue? Everybody has that where somewhere a homie helps them out. Right, right. And then I started reading other things and started watching stuff. I'm like, oh, I can see why people may not like him so much is because it's the way that he doesn't know how to make fun of himself. And he also doesn't know how to roll with the punches. Mm -hmm. So instead of when people like rip into him and they say all this stuff, he doesn't really laugh about it. He tries to defend himself, which is, I think is a very bad thing to do. 
Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? As a comic, you got to make jokes out of everything. Mm-hmm. When people fucking shit on you, when people, like when I talk about comments or stuff, my first initial thing is to bring you up because I have content now, right? Mm-hmm. It's not like, let me defend myself because this person's wrong. It's like, how do I make this funny? Mm-hmm. You know, how do I create content? And I don't think mm-hmm. Brendan Shaw does that. Mm-hmm. He goes, mm-hmm. you don't fucking know what you're doing. I'm the standard comic. I get, I'm co-signed by Joe Rogan. If I wasn't good, then all these comics wouldn't be around me. It's like, that's not the angle you should take. And I think that was the start to everybody shitting on him. Mm-hmm. And it took me a while to figure this out because I just didn't understand. Mm-hmm. Like, why do people hate this guy? You no, know? Yeah. That's a very deep and good analysis, man. I have too much time on my hand when I'm <laughs> fucking making my tomatoes grow. I, yeah, but that makes just sense. Just thinking though. about Brendan Shaw. Yeah, I'm just thinking about Brendan Shaw. What do people hate Brendan Shaw? <laughs> good strategy. Because like, honestly, <laughs> like I would read stuff and I see people shit on him and yeah. I would get my feelings hurt for him. Cause I yeah. get a lot of bad comments too, but nothing to his extent. No, they're like they're like actively trying to take him down. Yeah, you know what I mean, like they're actively att- like it, yeah, it, it's a different kind of of uh, aggression. Yeah, because it can't just be like he's oh he's just not a funny comic. I think no. it's the way that he chose the angle in which he chose right, which is like I'm above this. I don't read comments. I don't give a fuck what people think. That's a bad angle, right? And then he tried to shift it into. I'm soft and I'm sensitive. So I, that's why I don't read comments. It's like, well, which one is it? You have to be consistent with the shit that you do. I like, if I was Brendan's like PR team, I would have told him like, Hey, you gotta make this funny. You have to, you're the comic. So if somebody goes, Brendan's a fucking habitual liar. You gotta lean into it. (laughs) You have to, you know what I mean? That would be so funny. It would be so fucking funny. Yeah, right? just saying crazy shit. Because I would just keep lying even more. Yeah. Sure, right. You know what I'm oh, saying? You might as well. Yeah, you might right? as well. You just keep, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, they start bringing up facts. Like, oh, Brendan said this and this, but what about this? And you're like, dude, my fucking, what are you talking about, dude? I've had eight, seven times and I beat it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right, right. You know? Just lean, like, how good would that be? That would be so fun. Yeah. You know? And I, I think, like, if he does that even now, he could turn the tide like that. Yeah, mm. right. I mean, there's a lot that's happened. The Bobby Lee shit didn't help him out. Oh, the Bobby Lee thing that didn't help him. Oh, yeah. that was, was really crazy. bad. That's where he really took a hit. That's right. We mm. talked the about Bobby that. Lee I actually stuff. forgot about that. Yeah, yeah that um, was a big hit. Yeah, you're pretty much fucked, man. My bad. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> that was bad. <laughs> Cheers. My bad. Speaking of bad reputation, dude. Uh, fucking uh, Lizzo. Did you guys hear that shit? Yeah. So, what the fuck is going on? Okay. Tell me what's going on. Break it down. I I read this shit before mm. I came here because honestly. I really don't fucking care. Yeah. Right. But because it's such a hot topic and listen, I have been somebody who is adamantly defended Lizzo only because I felt like a lot of people were just coming at her for just being fat. Like, all right, she's fat. So the fuck what? I know what that feels like. (laughs) I see myself in her. Okay. If she ate me, but (laughs) I'm kidding. Oh God damn it. I'm going to hell. But she would, I would adamantly defend her. It's like, yo, let this girl fucking live. You know what I'm saying? Like she's making music. She's a big girl, but then people would always make comments about like, well, if you were truly healthy, who the fuck cares? She makes music. Yeah, you right. know what I mean? Like leave that shit aside. And so a lot of people would uh, like champion her and saying like, oh, you're, you're the spokesperson for, for a fucking big women. And so this is the way that she had, and this is honestly her big fan base is like her movement of body positivity. So the lawsuit is, a, it's compiled of multiple things. Like it's based on sexual harassment. So oh. they were saying that, uh, I forgot, let's just say it was in Atlanta. No, it was in Amsterdam. I'm sorry. Uh, he, they're stating that she forced them to do stuff that was very uncomfortable sexually. Like they took, she took them, forced them to take, uh, to go to a strip club. And there was a point where some, um, stripper had a banana coming out of their pants and they, she forced them to eat it. Um, th- I'm not sure if this part is true, but I read this where she basically said like, if you don't do this, you're fired along those type of lines. Okay. You know what I mean? And then she would ridicule them for other things. She would make fat shaming comments to her dancers. And remember, she's the body positivity girl. So she would just call them fat and stuff? Is that Because like, they're dancers or right. like if they're like out of shape or whatever. And the lawsuit doesn't just entail in Lizzo. It, it also includes the, the main person who choreographs the dances. Uh, and so they are also saying that they, she would do things that were um, inappropriate in a work setting in terms of uh, religious conversations. Like they would, she would talk about, uh, ask people if they were virgins, uh, talk about Christianity and push it on them. And there was like a dancer who spoke about that they were a virgin. And then she, t- on a publication, said that she was a virgin to other people and she wasn't comfortable. And so like, it's it's a weird, weird thing that's going on. And Lizzo obviously came out and was like, this is absolutely not true. Like this is, 
and what they're alluding to was like, it's funny that the three people that are um, suing us right now were actually reprimanded not too long ago because of their like sexual misconduct or it wasn't sexual misconduct, but it was inappropriate behavior is what they said. So those three were actually uh, in trouble for acting inappropriately. And then now these three people are suing Lizzo. Okay. Mm. So it's just weird thing. So like the reason why it's blowing up is because she's, she's a body a bo positivity yeah, right. queen, but she's being sued for fat shaming. That's the headline I saw. It's yeah, like Lizzo fat shames other fatties. Also, <laughs> <laughs> what you doing eating that shit? Yeah, but how do you fat shame somebody when they're, yeah. But I think she, there's no way she did this seriously. Well, who knows what happened? I mean, wait, exactly. wait. So what, yeah. what the three people, they, they got in trouble for sex. What sexual misconduct did they well, it do? It wasn't sexual misconduct. It was inappropriate behavior. Um, what would they, they do? Don't know. But Lizzo hasn't said what it was. But um, that's basically what they're saying. And they're suing her. See, this is difficult to, because, well, first of all, we don't know exactly what happened, right? A, number one, no one really knows what's going on. We just have accusations, yada, yada, yada. Two, uh, the entertainment world is weird. Like it's not, you're not in an office. You know what I mean? It's yeah. The conversations that are going to happen. Like even the fact that you guys took a work trip to a strip club, like that's, that's normal Odd. in entertainment. You exactly. know what I mean? Like that's like an entertainment world type thing. You would never do that if you're working at fucking Kinko's, you know yeah. what I mean? At FedEx, <laughs> hey guys, let's go to fucking strip club and eat a banana out of somebody's ass. You know yeah. what I mean? Like that would never happen. But the fact, a good time. The, it, like, it, like notice that no one complained like, hey, she took us to a strip club on a work meeting, mm -hmm. right? It's yeah. like. It's like, oh no, I had to eat the sh the banana out of the dude's ass. No, that's right. Like, you it's not that it's like, the strip club's a problem. It's yeah. like, no, they. I went there and then I had to I had, eat a banana. Yeah, right. Mm. No issue with the strip club to begin with. So the entertainment world is weird to start. Right. <clears throat> what are the rules? So who knows? But who, also, what did did she go like? Hey, uh, if you don't eat eat the banana, you're gonna get fired. Or or is she that's like what they're alluding to? Yeah, but or th did she go? If you don't eat the banana, you know you're gonna be fired. Yeah, right. And it's I guess like, it's oh, a jazz joke. Too. Inflections. Yeah, and she and maybe it was a joke. Like this. Oh, she said it. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. It could be a joke. Yeah. I mean, who who knows? Yeah, who, yeah. Knows? Yeah. who knows? Eat that banana, or oh, you fired, bitch. Because yeah. I hear a lot yeah. of people say shit like that, and it's un in fun. I, and, and honestly, I could picture her saying that. But well, like, it, it could be in like a joking type way. Yeah. That's the thing too. Or when people serious. when people read these headlines, right? You actually don't know. What's going on? Everything yeah. is alleged, right? right? And we've, you know, we've, we've, like, I've been in situations too where, like, disgruntled employees be making up fucking shit. Sure. Like, they say, like, it's, yeah, it's what happened, but they twist, like, 50% of it. And it's like, no, that's not how it was said, and that's not how it was done, and that's not how you behaved. It was just after the fact because they want to look like a saint that they twist everything around, right? So now it's a matter of, who in that dance company is going to back up the other person or what? Because this is where, like, you'll never really know the truth. Yeah, it's right. always going to be a he said, she said yeah, type right, of thing, right? right? For me, I find it, I kind of see it like, well, what's the context? Like you said, right? Like, yeah. okay, you're already at a strip club, which right. is already inappropriate. Right. So you're not mad that you went to a strip club. You're mad because it didn't go down the way that you wanted it to. You're right. But it sucks so bad that. Because whenever you do a thing, people just believe the thing. Most people, mm -hmm. they What's, don't go, oh, let's look into it. They go, oh, yeah, she did the thing. It's juicier to be like, oh, Lizzo's fat shaming people. Yeah, it's, it's juicier. It's juicier. But then most people going to believe that. They go, oh, Lizzo's a terrible person. I mean, she, she might, might be. She might, she she might, might be. be fat shaming them. But then and, if you and, twist and, Which is first, also hilarious. If hilarious. She is. If she's actually that. fat yeah. shaming people <laughs> as herself, like that's funny as shit. I've yeah. done it multiple times and it's very odd. Yeah. I don't know why we feel like we have to, but we just do it anyways. Yeah. I look at other like fat people that eat and I'm like, fuck fucking pig <laughs> as I'm eating my fucking filet fish <laughs> I can't believe you're eating that stuff w when did you get it though <laughs> it looks fresh <laughs> it looks good yeah. no but that's what I'm like when, when I read what people say about Lizzo and the whole situation they talk about allegations as if they were there and it's facts you don't actually fucking know and I've seen this yet. in my personal business work stuff too where you know, people be telling crazy stories about them. I'm like, that's funny because there's 12 other people there that say the exact opposite. Mm. That's what's so annoying about today's world is everyone speaks on certain subjects as if they're the ones that know the things like for sure. Mm. And no one knows. No one knows. No one you knows. don't know what the fuck you're talking about. It almost seems like if you say it first, then that's, mm. if you say it first, it has so much power to yeah. draw people's attention and go, oh, then the yeah. other person has to be. It's like you have no idea what person. you're talking about, bitch. Yeah. Like you weren't there. Like what the fuck? And also yeah. read what I read. Exactly. Yeah. And also her fans too, Idiot. who are like turning, <laughs> who are like turning their back on her. Right. Like these are also the type of fans too, that when she lost a little weight because she was eating healthier, 
they fucking went in on her. They were like, oh, I thought you were the bo- body positivity queen. Why are you fucking trying to lose weight? It's like, it's it's like, like she, she can't do anything. It's like the people that were mad at Adele. Adele lost the gang of weight, oh, yeah. got, got pretty fine, and then everyone was like, fucking bitch. Like, what's going on? Like, they're all mad that she lost weight. Like, yeah, why? What if she has high cholesterol? Mad? Yeah, she's healthy. Yeah, like, why is it mad that she's healthier? Dude, Billie Eilish, she went to the Met Gala, and she was dressed, you know, in her Met Gala outfit. And, you know, Billie Eilish is known to be a tomboy, Right. right? With gazongas. He pulled out the tatas. Yeah. <laughs> Billy Eilish is pretty as shit. Yeah. Talented as fucking hell too. The whole fucking package, the shebang. Yeah, Goofy yeah. and weird as shit. But listen. Gazongas. And I, yeah, I yeah, just, for they just, they're amazing. They, they came are, out of nowhere. Literally, literally came out of nowhere, right? Came out of nowhere. Bang. I just had to say that. Jambalaya. Yes. Well, Babaloos. <laughs> Jimmy Changas. Sweater puppies. Yes, yeah, sweater puppies. Bahama Mama. Leche duffels. Yeah. T- titties with nipples on it. There you go. Okay. <laughs> All right. You oh, no? just said anatomically what it was. <laughs> the autistic guy speaks. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, dude. Sorry. That was rude. Titty hammocks. Titty so hammock. we have um, this lady. <laughs> so Billy Eyes comes out and she's just very beautifully, right? People went in on this poor girl. They're like, you're fucking, oh, 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 now you're trying to be all this, this, and that. Like, you're fucking, you're a sellout. Haters. Then she's like, what the fuck? Like, I'm at the Met Gala. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, let me just be myself. Yeah, fuck off. Like, I don't understand, like, fan bases like that that they have where they kind of, they assume what these people are without even knowing who they are. Mm. Right? And also, too, if she wants to lose weight, let her, whatever vibe that she's on, whether she's big, skinny, or small, let her do what she wants. Yeah, and can she yeah. not be, like, feminine and also... Like tomboy at the and same time. Exactly. Right. Like she could choose. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. maybe someday she wants to wear baggy clothes. Other times she wants the sweater puppies out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let, her, let her be. I'm not complaining. Yeah. yeah. I'm not downloading this footage. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's not on my phone right now in my YouTube save videos. Yeah, I didn't put yeah. my hand on my penis in the bathroom of the studio podcast. Yeah. Thing. Yeah. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm not in the shower for an extra 10 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> What are you saying? Yeah. Water gets cold. Water gets a little cold. You ever been in the shower so long, water starts getting <laughs> yeah. cold? Like, damn, I've been jerking off in here for too long. Hey, let me tell you something. You ever masturbate during a hot shower and you get lightheaded and you pass out? Yeah. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. I know these things. Yeah. I know. You guys know. You right? guys, right, Jason, knows. you know what's up. Jason knows. Yeah, you know. Jason I, knows. Say so you know. I don't know if I know. <laughs> Dude, but they're idiots, dude. These people are fucking morons. Like, yeah. they're just, who gives a shit? You, you just don't know what's going on in these, like, celebrity lives either, right? Like, I just, I never believe anything that I read right now. I only talk about subjects. Like, if we're on this podcast, I only talk about what could be. But it's not you ever never know. definite. And also, now there's, like, AI and, like, the voice thing, the deep fake thing. Like, I, I feel like in, like, you know, a couple of years, people are just going to be making up stuff. Oh, for sure that's going to happen. Dude, because it's so real. You're going to have a like video of Lizzo. Things. Have you seen like deep fake porn? I haven't seen that. Is it good? I I, I haven't. <laughs> but I, I, I heard it. <laughs> I heard it. <laughs> Wait, what, why, why is deep porn like, more you, um, sexually it's, it's deep porn? It's wrong because you. It's wrong. <laughs> Why, you, why is everybody laughing? It's wrong. You could put because you like you came too hard. No, oh, they don't oh, have sorry. consent, and their image oh. is being used in a sexual way, oh, okay. and it's not okay. Yeah. Now, have I seen it? Absolutely not. But I came a lot. But there's a there are okay. Let's just say this: there are people that I wish when I was younger that I n- wish I knew what they looked like naked. Hillary Clinton. You could do Hillary Clinton. <laughs> Pelosi. <laughs> Pelosi was the first one. Nancy Pelosi. Yeah, you yeah. want to talk about some Billie Eilish's Pelosi. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Does she's fantastic, tata. dude. <laughs> Tatas as well. But like that whole deep fake thing, I remember like, it, you know, when for everybody's like, oh, that's fucking dope because now you don't got to wait for like them to Dang. do a naked scene. Mm. But then a, one celebrity, I forgot who it was, it's like, dude, that's still my likeness and the idea that somebody's mm. using me as like jack off material. Yeah. <laughs> okay, this motherfucker. <laughs> It like it fucks with my head. A well, the bit. thing is, is if somebody wants to jack off to you, they're already doing. You're it. not going to stop them. Yeah, you're not. <laughs> you're not going to. They'll just look at your Instagram. They'll, yeah. they'll jerk off. They'll see you in the street. Remember it. Jerk off at well, home. Who, who's hey, they, let me tell you something specifically. They. In my twenties, I would do drive by lookings, and I'm like, got it. And I just walk away. Got <laughs> it. <laughs> 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 like, you say it out loud. Got it. They don't even know what. Like, what's that? You don't need to know. Don't worry about it. 
goes up to a wall this close. <laughs> 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 and I have an imagination. I don't need porn at all. Yeah, there you I go. See, I just see people's faces. That's what I'm saying. Like, you so don't even know. People have been doing that forever. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, people do that forever, even before the if internet. If someone wants to jerk off to you, they're gonna, they're gonna jerk off to you. Yeah, man. When I was when I was just in, accept that. I accept remember that. when I was uh, at my parents' store, and this is like your Tina. You would get like NRBs, no reason boners, mm. and I just remember like some hot customers will walk through, and I'm just like, "Fuck, my dick is gonna get hard for sure," because wow. I'm like 13, 14 years old. Like yeah. anything would get it hard. Like I would look at lip gloss, and I'm like. Whoa. <laughs> All right. And so I remember this one customer came through, and, but dude, she was fine as fuck. Right. I was like, whoa. And then my dick immediately, boing, Damn. hard nice. as shit. Love that. And I, yeah. I kept on trying to think of other things. It didn't work. So literally in the middle of the store, I had to go to the bathroom. I had to whack one off and then come out. Wow. Because I couldn't focus. Holy yeah. shit. Like being a young person and being horny is like the most annoying thing on earth. It causes you to start dating people who have very thin eyebrows. Yeah, <laughs> it really does. It's the weirdest thing ever. <laughs> like I hated that as a young person, like always constantly being horny and you can't just focus at, on uh, anything at all. The worst. The worst. Do you, I feel like you're still like that now, dude. No, I mean, I, I dude, I, every once in a while I got to rub one out just to focus. You just hold it in. This one didn't jack off for like two months. I didn't jack off for two months. I held Since it in. When? And it actually felt really good. Wow. No, I mean, lately I've been jerking off. I got to um, stop again though. I just um, want to like detox. Did you did you feel better without jerking off? I actually did. I felt more focused. I was like taking advantage of my time. I was more productive. Really? Yeah. I felt How I many felt days good. in that you start feeling that way? Uh, right away. Like right away right I started away? feeling it. Yeah, but like, like the second I, day? No, probably like day three or four. Okay. I was like, oh, I'm feeling, I'm like taking advantage of my time. You don't feel distracted. You're not like, I feel like if you watch porn, like it's like somehow just jumbles your brain a little bit. You know what I mean? I don't know how to explain it. It's definitely it. not something you should be consuming every day. Yeah. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because I remember recently, I think I didn't masturbate for like eight days, mm -hmm. right? Because I was moving and shit. I was just mm. exhausted all the time. But then towards like, I remember like day seven or eight, Everything was making my dick hard. Yeah, right. Yeah. Everything. You're ready to go. Genius Brain listeners, this podcast is brought to you by Mint Mobile. Signing your life away to a big wireless provider is kind of like being trapped on a roller coaster from hell. Sure, it looks fun at first. They probably threw in a free phone, but now you can't get off. Month after month of insane bills and unexpected thrills like overages and surprise fees. If that sounds like your current big wireless plan, it's time to get off the ride with Mint Mobile. For a limited time, wireless plans from Mint Mobile are just $15 a month. That's unlimited talk, text, and data for just $15 a month. Mint Mobile is here to rescue you with premium wireless plans for just 15 bucks a month. My friends, say bye-bye to your big wireless plans, jaw-dropping monthly bills, and an unexpected overages. To get your new unlimited wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month and get the plan shipped to your door for free, go to mintmobile.com slash genius15. That's mintmobile.com slash genius15. Cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash genius15. I, I prefer being older now because now I feel like hormonally, I'm a lot more balanced. Mm. You mm. know what I mean? Like I don't have to, when you're, when you're a young person, Sex is like the h biggest motivating factor for everything. It's the reason why you do better in school. It's the reason why you lose weight. It's the reason why you get fit, you get buff, all this other shit. Like I knew a dude, like I know guys who were like hardened affiliated gang members that dropped being thugs simply because of a girl. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. you know what? I'm not fucking you anymore if you continue to gang bang. I'm not gaming anymore. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, that was right. it. And the rest is history. They joined yeah. an Ivy League college. They're fucking accountant. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. fucking nuts. Yeah. Sure. Like I know guys who have converted to Christianity because a girl that they like went to a church. That's wild. And she's like, you need to love God as much as I love God. That's and the next go, level commitment. And next thing you know, you just see guns fall out of their pockets. <laughs> 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 and they just fall to the floor and the fucking bullets fall out everywhere. <laughs> I don't need any of this. <laughs> like I know pastors that had happened to it. Like, like there's like one of the most popular thing in Korean churches is that you always meet a pastor that used to be a gangbanger all the fucking time. Oh, really? And the same story. Why'd you stop? I met a girl. Mm -hmm. And the girl's the one that changes them. Mm -hmm. Immediately. She goes, sure. I can't do this. If you keep continuing this lifestyle, I'm a pastor. <laughs> and they immediately change. Well, women definitely make men grow up 100%. It's a good dude. Point, 100%. 100%. 100%. Because if you're, I mean, unless you're dating, unless you're just dating some crazy chick like that Filipino chick or whatever, but 100%. other than that, you're going to, you're going to stay a fucking numb nuts. But if, <laughs> if you're dating a respectable lady, mm. uh, there's a certain standard that she's not going to put up with. So you got to grow up, you know? Yeah. I feel like I, I grew up a lot, you know, ever since I've been with my lady, like we, we, she kind of forced me to grow up in ways that I didn't think I had to. 
Because like when you're on your own and like I'm very hyper independent, right? Even like in the first five years of our relationship, we never conferred with each other about anything. It was just like, you do your own thing, I do my own thing. And when we come together, we're a couple. And that's how we lived for like yeah. five years. And then when we moved in together, it was like a shocking thing for both of us because we had to figure out a lot of stuff that we hated about each other that we didn't know about. It's like, oh, this is unacceptable. I fucking hate this. I fucking hate this. And I've we talked about it too when she came on here. We didn't go into the specific details because you know she doesn't feel comfortable. But we were going to split before we moved in. It was like we're done, mm. you know. And then we figured it out through like couples therapy and a lot of stuff on her side that she had to change. Mm. That oh, like there. That's right. Your fault. And so, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was eighty percent her fault, twenty percent mine. Ninety percent her fault, ten percent mine. <laughs> 95, five, <laughs> 92, 91, <laughs> 99, one, hundred <laughs> percent. Yeah. So, but there are things that she kind of realized through like therapy of like projection, like, oh, there are things that I'm unhappy about myself that I'm putting on to you. That's not your fault. And then there are things that I had to change and this stuff wouldn't happen unless it, it was because of her. Mm. Right. So I really feel like I say this now and we always joke about it, but if she leaves me. I'm fucked. Yeah. Like we're at, we're actually at a really good place in our relationship, which is fucking odd. Do you That's feel dope. like, do you feel like, um, because when you did the separate thing, hyper independent, because you have a lot of guards before, because you know, um, nobody loved you. <laughs> 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 Hold on. Let me finish. No, nobody loved you. And then you go, I'm going to love myself. And then, uh, <laughs> No, this is from good intention, though. <laughs> no, no, it's not. Really, that is not. There's yeah, no good like, intent in that at all. Go. Me and my teammate. And then, go, go. I'm, I'm on board. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, go, go, go. Okay, because nobody loves you. And then, um, that is, what is wrong with you? No, no, because I feel like that, too. Why nobody? Okay, some people, buddy. Some, some people, buddy. <laughs> some people, buddy. Dude, what the fuck? <laughs> some, some, people some people, buddy. Some people, buddy. Some people, buddy. Like. Some people, buddy. You want a pasta? Some people, you buddy. You pasta? The water, you put it in a pasta. <laughs> you may authentic. See some people body. Some people body love you. Some people body. <laughs> the meat the balls love you. <laughs> yeah, some... abundanza, principessa. You put a bit of power and tanto. I like some people body. I some like people body is a good one. It flows. Some people yeah, body. Some people and the body. Okay. Some people body love, love you. you. Continue your thought. Yeah, and then um, and mm -hmm. then after you, after like grinding with a person who has a really kind heart which is your wife now. And, uh, but after you let your guard down and now that you, 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 that really the hyper independent is gone now and now you depend on her like emotionally, like So love. for me, what mm. it was, was the, al along the lines of why it was hard for me to get connected to people romantically. And even like, let's say on a parental level, right? Like my parents, it was hard for me to get close to, aside from all the other bullshit of them being assholes. Yeah. It's like, what I think what a lot of people don't realize is that some people who are afraid of commitment aren't so much afraid of commitment because like they're afraid that this person's going to be an asshole or turn out to be evil is because you're afraid to fall in love with somebody because the idea that that person can love and hurt you. Mm. Mm. So like you, people sometimes don't get attached to people because they're like, Oh, one day I realize this person might die and yeah. I might be left alone. So I'd rather be alone right now. So I don't have to experience that in the future. Yeah. And I had that. Yeah. That makes I, sense. I didn't yeah. want to get close to my parents or my mom. Every time I felt like I got closer to my parents, I start to realize the the finite idea of what life is. Yeah. Like my parents one day won't be around. There's been yeah. times where I'll be able to call my mom and she won't pick up. Yeah. So don't love them at all. Exactly. Be right, alone. Preempt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I get it. It's self sabotage. Preemptive. Yeah. Yeah. yeah self sabotage. sabotage. Preemptive. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Preemptive. And I would self sabotage a lot of shit. It's like, so oh, we, like I don't like this about you. I'm done with you. Mm. Yeah. you. You know what I mean? Yeah. But really, what it was is like I like too much about you. Yeah. And you're actually probably even too good for me. Mm. Yeah. And I don't want to mess up this good thing. So let me just destroy this ahead of time before I can go fuck it up later. Right. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. And so like with. So weird. With her, even like later on in the relationship, I started to realize like, I don't want to share things with her. I don't want to say things with her, say these things because I feel like number one, it's too vulnerable. Yeah. And number two, the more I start to love her even more, I start becoming very cognizant that one day, like she might not be around. Yeah. But that's the assumption. For some reason, in my scenario, I always outlive her. <laughs> I'm like, she's always dying before me. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. And I look at her, I'm like, so when you die before me. Nah, dude, God's going to punish us, man. 100%. They're going to go first. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> to punish us, they're going to fucking go first, dude. Yeah. I already know it. And I'm going to just be sitting here crying every fucking day. Yeah. And like that reality, when it hits you, becomes a very dark reality. Yeah. yeah. For other people, they kind of want to fall in love because they want, they, they're very present in the now. And they go, 
I love this feeling. I want it to last forever. Yeah. For me, it's like, okay, if I get closer to this person, what happens when they die or when they leave me? Mm. Like, yeah, when oh, they this, leave. Yeah, like this is, is fucking sad as shit. Mm. And you feel like these small moments, like for example, when your dog dies. Like if you had a dog for like 10, 14 years and all of a sudden they're gone the next day, it's like, fuck, I never want a dog again. Right. Bro, every day I think about my dog dying just so that you could appreciate it more. <laughs> not, not your wife or nah, nah. <laughs> she gonna live for a long time this is my dog dogs though like when they love you they fucking love you dude yeah. like sometimes when I look at my dog like the dog just looks up at me like I'm the fucking dopest shit on earth that's yeah. awesome and like damn what the fuck is wrong with you yeah. what's wrong with you babe? like sometimes I just punch you in your sleep because you make me mad <laughs> I'm, I'm fucking petty dude my dog would like wake me up at 5am in the morning because it wants to play and so I would get so fucking mad but like, whenever the dog's sleeping peacefully I would wake it up I'm like, wake up! What? And the dog's like, what? I'm like, why? I was like, yeah. How do you fucking like it, dude? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, wake I the don't fuck care. up. They don't. Like, I don't care. How do you feel now? They just wake up and they're happy as shit. I'm like, yeah. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> it didn't work. It didn't fucking work. Shit. They, they enjoy the shit. <laughs> shit. It's yeah. so whack. But I think that's why people people love their dogs because they they only live like 10, 15 years. Because if they live like 200 years, I would- You take they, it for granted? 100%. Oh, if they like shit turtles. again, eat it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Mad, like, well, every day I'm going to fucking pick up your shit. Yeah, yeah. But 10, yeah, 10, 15 years, that's why we love them so much. That's why nobody fucking like turtles, dude. They live too long. They turtles, live, yeah. They live like 100 years, What the dude? fuck? Bro? And they smell like goo. They smell like goo? <laughs> yeah, just yeah, like yeah. bad goo. Dude, what, my, wait, my, what does goo smell like? Would think about goo. What like color put, is it? Your put, put your what okay. color is goo in your in your head? Okay, it's in between green and brown. Mine's purple. Oh wow, that's yeah, a beautiful goo. goo. Yeah, goo. <laughs> I'm a lot of goo. Mine's a beautiful goo. <laughs> smell some people body. <laughs> smell like <laughs> goo. Hey, I smell like some people body. Huh? Smell like the goo. You dude. know, hey Giuseppe. Every time you come in a room, you smell like some people body. You smell some people body the goo goo <laughs> and the goo goo the goo goo. Well, you were hanging out with a turtle because you smell like a goo. <laughs> Dude, my so my buddy's wife is a veterinarian. She, they have so she keeps bringing fucking animals home, dude. It's like Doctor Doolittle's house. They have like three dogs, two cats, oh, a fucking bearded dragon, a couple <laughs> lizards, a fucking tortoise dude a tortoise with three legs they're all injured by the way the dog has one eye mm. tortoise has three legs is this, is this person white no she's uh filipino what the fuck guy's white he's white she's filipino mm. she she uh the tortoise has three legs i didn't know they could do this but they could do a surgery where they put a wheel on the tortoise like they can attach a wheel to the missing That's leg gangster. and i was like do that shit right now get that mad max ass Tortuga, <laughs> Tortuga, <laughs> Tortuga, <laughs> Tortuga, Tortuga Put some motherfucking lasers on his head, dude. Oh, you're at it, dude. They got a cyborg ass Tortuga rolling around, dude. That's that really cool. That you, that shit is that fucking animal sucks though. Uh, it's just a boring ass. Like, what the fuck is this stupid? It only like, comes out for lettuce. Yeah. yeah. Like, do you just see? I, all I see is videos of tortoises and like, this is my friend Henry, and Henry's been around our family for sixty years. Yeah. My di dad died of cancer, but Henry's still around. And Henry yeah. doesn't give a fuck about you. No, it doesn't. You have to spray water in the hole, and then you bring out a fucking piece of bell pepper, and it just comes out like, and it looks like my fucking grandpa. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it yeah. always looks like a oh, like a hundred year old Asian yeah. man. <laughs> just. But you know what? The the way they fuck, the sound that they make when they fuck, it, it's a. <laughs> Yeah, it's such a, <laughs> it's a nice sound. Nice. <laughs> oh, no. Have you seen a fucking tortoise dick? It's gross. I have not seen a tortoise oh, dick. It, it's, What's it look like? It just looks like a pile of intestines on the floor. Ew. It's fucking disgusting. That's gross. Yeah. That's how you sound when you have sex, huh? Yeah, but I make it sound <laughs> yeah. nice. When you come. <laughs> it's fucking <laughs> weird as shit. Yeah, but. <laughs> let me tell you something. Sorry, what were we saying? <laughs> the other day, like, uh. So I, I talked about this on a solo podcast when I was doing, um, when I was moving this shit because mm. I didn't have time to do anything. So I just like at 12 a.m. I would do a podcast by myself, which is very difficult, by the way. Oh, yeah. There was, so you guys heard about the Island Boys thing, right? Oh, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where yeah. they made out where for whatever reason. they fucking, they tongue fuck each other, right? What is that? So they're doing it for OnlyFans, for money. Mm. They're brothers. They're brothers. And they're making out. And they're making Do they out. fuck each other? They, okay, so here's the thing. I wouldn't that be surprised. Gross, dude. So their rebuttal to this, like a couple of weeks after this whole debacle came out, one of the brothers says, like, you know what? You guys don't even fucking know. I'm actually, I'm for real gay. What? And then I'm like, you kissed your brother. <laughs> That's not the 
problem. Yeah, right. The problem isn't that you kissed another man. The man is your brother. Identical twin. What the yeah. fuck is he talking? Like, that's how fried their brain is. Yeah. This fool, like, sat around for hours devising shit. Like, hey, they don't even know. I'm about to Uno reverse their ass. I'm gay. <laughs> and everybody's like, it's still incest. Yeah, that's <laughs> fucking gnarly, dude. Yeah, that's crazy. These motherfuckers are dumb as shit. I cannot fucking believe that, dude. Quit, let me ask you something. Do you if have, they you were have, sisters, though, that'd be pretty dope. That would be pretty nice. That'd be pretty. Everyone would be like, hey, hey Alan girl. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, keep making out your sister. I'm just trying to make it. I'm an island girl. <laughs> and I see some clit. <laughs> <laughs> but like, well, every it's different. <laughs> yeah, it is different. Hey, it's different, dude. Every everybody has that fantasy <laughs> of the twin sisters three something when you were younger. Not me now. I don't have the libido. And right. also, it's like a, a lot of work. I feel like, and it's work. like a lot of like nuance because it's what's the nuance? What do you, you, you done three sums before? I actually haven't. Okay, but oh, the, you, I thought you yeah, would be the one who has. Yeah, I've been close a couple times, but no. But it's like, but, but it's too much to do. It's like, cause did you, you have a threesome? No. Oh, but that's what I'm saying. Even Why is it I would never have the opportunity. But <laughs> if I did have the opportunity, I would. I just feel like it's really. Uh, you have to conduct. Yeah, you have to conduct, and it's like I'm already thinking too much with one person, and now I got to think of two person. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Open your pussy. <laughs> no, I, I, it's like the Bugs Bunny when he's the conductor, dude, and he's like, dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. yeah, dude. Number one, I have anxiety what issues, and yeah. there's absolutely no, no way it's happening, dude. Yeah. You guys know how big my anxiety is. You obviously don't care because you ambushed me, but <laughs> I have I have issues with anxiety. Yeah, there's no fucking way that I could. Like figure out how to have intercourse with two other women. Yeah, impossible. Really? I can't do it. Yeah, me neither. Like, Why? what am I doing? It's like, okay, it's like, do I put the finger in this one and then <laughs> and the then penis the, in this the, one? Yeah, and yeah. then and how do I get the rhythm? Or does the other girl sit on my face and then she hops on this? It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. I think it's a combination of all those things. Okay, it's but so much work. Yeah, but you gotta be like. We're not shooting guns in the air. <laughs> like you're fucking in the wild Yosemite Sam ass dude. I don't, come here, you varmints. <laughs> I don't think that happens ever, dude. I'm 100% sure. She's just looking at her doggy style and he's like, <laughs> hey guys, so I'm I'm ready. <laughs> yeah, I don't, know. I don't think that's a part of it at no? all. All right. I think you would just you just kind of you know they they if they they obviously have to hook up with each other you, too. But you you will overthink like because if you're putting your penis in one and you're like well. I have trouble trying to make her come already. And then what about the other person? I got to make her come. And what is she doing? I got to keep her occupied because she can't just be watching if we're having threesome. I used to watch this Playboy TV show called Swingers. Have you guys seen that show? I've never seen that show. So it's literally two couples that, and I watched this during college. It was two couples uh, or co it was a couple that would come in, not two couples. And it's a swinger event where these people want to try swing. They never s s swang before. Never swang. I don't know if that's the fucking term, Damn. but they never swonged, right? Never swung. So never swonged ever in their life. Mm -hmm. And so they have like porn stars in this room or like people who have swonged before. Yeah. And they start doing sexual games or whatever. Oh, and wow. these people are hyped to swing. And it's like a, oh, wow. an orgy of like 20 people. Oh, that's weird. And it's just the interest. And like what you start to understand about like the psychology is that some people want to fuck, but the other half of the people that were on the show per episodic, they wanted to see their partner fuck somebody else. They want to get cucked. Mm. They want to get cucked. And mind you, they're also having <laughs> sex too. They're, you get, they're getting fondled, right? The professional term. They're getting fondled. They're getting fandangled a little bit too. <laughs> fandangled. And they're watching. And I'm like, this is a very interesting, because this is a lot of stimulation. Yeah. Like there was this one guy, um, he wanted to have sex with multiple women at once. And it was him just getting falasioed mm -hmm. by like four women. Okay. And he's just having the time of his fucking life. And his wife is watching him and she is getting smashed from behind, watching him getting fellaged. And she's getting smashed. She's getting smashed by some other guy. <laughs> <laughs> this is insane. Damn. Like when you watch the show, it's, it doesn't turn me on. It's just like a it's social weird. experiment. It's Bro, weird. Swinger shit is weird. But it you can't weird. even come back from that. Imagine getting fucked by some other dude watching your husband getting 
fellatioed yeah. by, by four dudes. Like, it's weird. Dudes. There's no, you can't be doing four, <laughs> like, regular sex anymore. No, it's, 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 there's no turning back. Yeah, you gotta go there. You, you gotta do a thing. Like, hey, can we have sex? And you do the foreplay at home, and now you gotta drive to the thing. Yeah, drive to some other dude's house. Yeah, some other. <laughs> have him fuck you your wife to come. 104. You gotta go, like, 30 minutes down the road I to, know come a guy to come. Who used to be a friend that his fantasy is getting cucked. Oh man, he would. He said, "I remember he said that shit out loud, and the whole room. You ever heard like he a, said it out loud? Yeah, a record break. Like everybody's like, no, we don't relate to this at all. Yeah, he's like, hey guys, you guys want? I have fantasy, and everybody's like, oh yeah, what's that? And he's like, I want to see my wife get fucked by another guy. <laughs> and everybody stopped and be like, what the fuck are you talking about, dude? Can like, we explain like, what that is though? Bring your wife over here, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'll fuck you. Yeah, I'm just looking at you like. <laughs> By any guy or <laughs> yeah, like what guy, dude? I'm right here, dude. Bring that bitch up. <laughs> but that's like his his fantasy. That's weird. She's dude. not down. But yeah, that's that's, w- that's a weird fantasy. Dude. And for him, though, that's a weird fantasy. Weird. But he's he's definitely is he a strange guy? He's beta as fuck. Like she calls him. Be. She calls him like a bitch. Oh, like all that type of stuff, and he just takes it. Oh, he probably okay. loves it. He Bro, probably I've, likes it. I've literally seen, like, I've had dinner with this couple before, and she's just going in on him, calling him a bit. He's just like uncomfortably laughing in front of everybody at the dinner because oh, you like he oh. likes it. I don't know if he likes it like oh. that. Oh man, but it's weird, like watching their relationship dynamic. He wants to watch his wife get pie. Yeah, weird. Like, and he openly admits it. Like, there was a point. Why are you getting horny? <laughs> I'm fucking aroused. Dude. And you're like, hey, can you continue the story, but then do it ASMR style? <laughs> you just start joking now. Start, start tapping dude, the mic. I start joking now. <laughs> you come do. <laughs> <laughs> I pass it to you with my hand. There you go. There you go. <laughs> yeah, but he had a fantasy. He Whoa. had fantasies of his wife having sex with another person as he watches. That's gonna be trauma. Right? There's something weird that's, though, but I, that but, doesn't make sense. But listen, I met this fool's dad, and his dad's also kind of a weirdo too. Like, that's, that's weird. Bro, <laughs> he told me that when he was a kid, he the first memories he has of his dad at a ball game is him bringing binoculars so he could look at the skirts up up the skirts of fucking cheerleaders. Oh, wow. Yeah, his dad's a fucking pervert. Yeah, so he kind of inherited some of that shit. A peeping Tom. Yep, a little bit. Like it's, like it's a genetic deformity. You like gotta go got up from there because peeping Tom at age of. 13 he's he's be, definitely been caught doing a lot of fucking weird shit yeah this yeah. guy's got issues a hundred percent like yeah. he's he's done like very odd odd things where like we had to call him out on it like bro what the fuck are you doing yeah but yeah. this is why this person's a former friend like he, yeah, i just yeah. can't fuck with that type of shit yeah you know what i'm saying but like I, I don't understand the idea of that but i know that's like a huge category in, in pornography yeah. is like cucking cucking yeah and that's like a term i only learned like a few years back because i'm like why the fuck would anybody enjoy yeah. this so sometimes when I see like a title, like, oh, I'm going to tell you, you have a small penis. Hmm? Yeah, that's a thing. Like a bit of a little thing or whatever. Oh, oh, so like, why, why would I want that? There's people who are like in high levels, <laughs> like what? in high what? power. Why would I yeah. Say that to me. Oh, look at it. It's microscopic. Oh, oh like getting so humiliated. Like they get yeah. off and getting humiliated. Yeah, exactly. So a lot oh. of dudes in high positions oh. of power that are so used to uh, bossing other people around, oh my they like God. being belittled. So that's why they get dominatrices to like, mm. like crush their balls, call them bitches they're losers they're not anything and it gets them off because, because you know what's even the, the next level of that i've heard there was a cam girl that was talking there's there's blackmail porn have you heard of that black so, so blackmail porn so it's essentially in in the same lines of this it's just a, a notch higher so <laughs> these guys will give these girls like their bank account numbers like their checking and routing numbers they'll give them like their their wife's oh. Blackmail. Number? Blackmail, yeah. My bad. I fucking heard as blackmail. Oh, like a blackmail. Yeah, no, 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 no. Blackmail, like, like a oh, blackmail. Like, what is this yeah, black- yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's just like BBC shit. Yeah. No, no, no. No, blackmail, like they're blackmailing them. So they'll give oh. these girls their checking and routing number. They'll give them their wife's cell phone number and they get off. They want the girls to like threaten them to like actually hit their wife up or like, hey, I'm going to take all your money. I'm going to do that. Like, and like really have like their finger on the button and sometimes actually do certain shit. And these guys get off on the fact that they're being like blackmailed like by this. Yeah, they, they, that's what they're into. That is fucking wild. That dude. is weird, Crazy. dude. I like having sex with my boxers on. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm fucking <laughs> <laughs> that's even weirder, dude. What the fuck kind yeah, of weird yeah, yeah, moment is that? Close her eyes. Don't you fucking look at me. Yeah. And then I also get a blanket in between and I cut a hole for the vagina. <laughs> That's the Christian way to do it. That is the Christian way dude, to I do it. I had a homie that actually would fuck with his boxers on. And I was like, are you Mormon, dog? Like, what's wrong with you, dude? Oh, he slid it to the side? Like, like you put it through the, the hole. 
Oh, the hole? That's that's a different thing. So he would put it through the, the you know, the, the hole you're supposed to pee through? I've never been through the hole. I've never been through the I hole either. Side. Only on accident. I'm yeah. like, I've like pulled my pants on, like my dick's through the hole for some reason. Oops. Like, I don't know why. But he would purposely have sex through the hole. Like, I know a dude. That who, is weird. His wife has never seen him naked. And they be smashing. So he also has sex through the dick hole. <laughs> never. And he's openly talked about it. I, I, from what I remember on a few videos that we've done. But I'm not going to say his name just in case this is just a private conversation that I forgot to, that, I, uh, uh, that I'm mixing up. Yeah, but, the wine's talking now. Yeah, maybe the wine's talking. So that Vogel taking over, baby. Yeah, yeah that Vogel be making me go crazy. That red bland. But he has also never farted in front of his wife and she's never farted in front of him. That's weird. And they never changed clothes in front of each other. Dude, that, that, that's, my, that's my thing. Like, I want you to fart immediately. Like, on the first date. Because, <laughs> because of the thing I is- I want to see you on a dating app so bad. Because I want to see all your cards- Cause I want to be like, is this gonna? Cause that's with my wife. The first date, I'm like, just fart, and I farted <laughs> on purpose. I squeeze one. I go, can. <laughs> that was her first date. That, yeah, that was the first date. So wow. then I, I did that uh, because I want to see all your cards. Cause w if you hold it in for two years, how about you just talk to her and ask her what her hobbies are? You idiot. Yeah, no, like, everybody got hobbies. Yeah. Say the thing. Do the deep stuff. Don't do the hobby thing. <laughs> hey, Carrie, I just want to tell you this right now. I'm enjoying this date, but I need to sniff it. I need you to <laughs> fart. Okay. I need to sniff it. If you don't sniff it, I don't know what you have for lunch. And if I don't know what you have for lunch, this ain't love. The the you like are you talking about? about? Did she fart yeah. in front of you on the first date? No, but accidentally she did it on the second date. And then I was like, I like it. I didn't say that, but we um, did. But I did. I did, think did, you like you like the intimacy. I you like, really you, wanted, like the, the, you wanted the intimacy. I don't get when people like hold the thing for two years because it's like, then what else are you hiding? Like what kind of other personality? Thing? You know, Bart, right? Yeah. Bart has never, She's had that never ever heard Geo fart ever. They've been together for almost like two decades. But I, I thought about that. I've been with girls who I like, I never heard. I, like my How last long ex, have you been together? My last ex, I was with her for a while. Never heard her fart. And then I asked her, I was like, you you must fart. Like, what? She's like, I'll just go into the bathroom or whatever. Okay, but that's another thing. You but, don't have to. Because if you show everything besides the fart, that's nice. Because you keep your femininity. But then if you don't fart and also don't show the rest of your personality, it's a weird thing. Like, show me your negative things. Like, one time at least. And then hide it. But then hide it. Yeah, neither. Or if you never fart and then, but you show me all your personality and we go through life as partners and then you're down for me. Well, you never heard your ex fart ever? How long were you guys together? A couple years. For and sure. she just a couple years? Mm -hmm. Ever? You never even heard her like fucking, you know where it sounds like the island conch? Yeah. Because you fucking farted Ooh. in the toilet? No, so I've never heard it. She, I, she would go to the bathroom. I know what she's like pooping or whatever, you know, but like, I never actually heard her fart. And I would, I'd be like, yeah, actually never. Like, why not? And she's but like, I'll would, just like go to the, uh, would the bathroom. Would she ever go, I'm going to go take a shit? Or she would never be like, I don't go shit. She would be uh, like, I'm going to go to the restroom. restroom. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> go take a fucking shit, dude. I'll be right back. Me lord, I will be releasing a log. <laughs> What the fuck? What's, what's in your household right now? Yeah, yeah what's going on? Do you do dude? that every time like, you announce a thing fucking Carrie? I go, hey, Carrie, I do. it's time. <laughs> Here, I'm gonna take a no, shit. No, I go, hey, I, I, I think it's a family because my dad was like that. He would announce that he would fart? Or yeah. Poop? No, no, he would take a shit. He'd go, <laughs> hey, guys, <laughs> time to shit. <laughs> hey, Jason, it's a time for me to poopy. I'm not sure that's how your father sounds, but I'm, I'm just doing the racial impersonation of your father. <laughs> hey, Jason, it's a time for me to poop, okay? It's time to shit. Aya. 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 It's time to shit, brother. Hey, don't worry, it's to come out as a noodle. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. Yeah, I never heard it. But I mean, she I asked her about it. She's like, yeah, I fart, but like it's just in another room or something. You she's asked like, her? Yeah, because I was like, what's going on? Actually, yeah. I never heard you fart. She's like, yeah, I'll go in another room. She's like, I'm doing this to preserve our relationship and our love. And That's then nice you stuff. fucking dumped her. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think she just wasn't gassy at, to begin with. Really, oh, okay. I feel like women aren't as gassy as oh, us. Women be gassy, dude. No, you talk to my wife. This lady be blasting them off, dude. She? Dude, in the in like, she? I'm talking about. She sleeps, and then if I hear a trumpet, I'm like, I know who's playing that instrument. That's funny. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah, she's over here just fucking warning the other crowd that the war's coming. <laughs> <laughs> like what the fucking steamboat? Like the fuck? <laughs> is this from a YouTube video that I'm watching at night, or is this you? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, God damn, dude. When, when did she start, though? So the, the first time I remember hearing her fart was 
<laughs> we were, this is when we were dating and I still remember her outfit, black bottoms, leopard top, right? And this was on Valentine's day. And this is when we were, we decided to be serious. I made her a meal, uh, a roasted uh, heirloom carrots with a, with a balsamic reduction and a wow. goat cheese, like little thing. Goes it's, the goat shit. Right? it's the goat cheese. Yeah, like gold, goat cheese. Golden beets, roasted heirloom Damn. carrots, all this other shit, That's right? Nice. What the and fuck? And then I made a, uh, Pasta vongole. Vongole. Yeah, a little clam pasta with a little butter, a little seed, whatever. What nice? What I do, right? Holy shit. That's nice. She's a little lactose. Didn't know that shit. Yeah, yeah. Right? So she's sitting on my lap. We're about to make out. Nice. And then she blasts ones on my thigh. She farted on your thigh. On my fucking thigh. And I died laughing. That's hilarious. I couldn't stop laughing because she farts and she doesn't even get embarrassed. She just goes, oops. <laughs> <laughs> What a kitty She's fucking hilarious. And that's, that's the first funny. time I heard her fart. That's, that's nice. great. One time, one night though, like she started farting so much. I think she got a little too comfortable and I literally had to talk to her. I was like, Hey, this, no, too much. <laughs> too much fart. I need you to dial it back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like now, now I don't know if a dick can be dry, but my dick is dry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That shit is dry. It's like a piece of chalk. Only like, in a little bit. Huh? Yeah. You, you know, at two farts, three farts. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But. Every time you walk by me and you just fucking crop dust me, yeah, yeah. Don't crop do that. Dust. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every time you take a bite of your meal and you fucking let one out, let's relax. <laughs> Every time you brush your teeth, let's relax. Chill out. Every chill time out. we go into the elevator and you cough thinking you're covering your fart, I know that's a fart. <laughs> Coughs don't sound like that. She was doing it too much. And I remember I had a conversation. It's like, listen, this is not working. Yeah. Yeah. Hold it back a you're little bit. You're fucking the relationship up, baby. A little bit. Yeah. There's a little too much. You're making me love you less. Exactly. Mm. And I had to let, I had to reduce my farts around her too. Mm. Cause yeah. I was definitely farting it up a lot. There's a yeah. quota. There's oh, a hundred percent. Farts a quota. per day quota, dude. Three is like, again? Three, three is like you're pushing, you're getting aggressive. You're getting aggressive. Like, yo, I is think, there an issue? I think two <laughs> per day is a really good limit. Two is yeah. per day. That's very, one in the morning, one at night. Cause you could do yeah. one accident. Do you know what I mean? Like if you did one on purpose. Hey, two. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's your one. Yeah. And you could do another one. Yeah. Excuse yourself. Fuck. Walk outside. Yeah. Dude, Mariel is so fucking cute. Two per day. She went, she, she like took a, and this is when we were for, first started dating. She pooped in the bathroom and I, she's not comfortable with me enough like that yet. Right. And I need to take a piss, but I don't know. She pooped. So I'm about to go into the bathroom from the distance. I just hear this. <laughs> she goes, don't go in there. And she's <laughs> running. And I'm like, my head's about to hit the doorknob. Slow-mo. I'm like, what? She's like, don't do it. <laughs> this bitch shoves me to the wall like this. <laughs> and she's like, I took a poopy. <laughs> she's like, I'm not ready for you to smell it yet. That's so nice. Dog, I busted up last week so hard. That's she's, funny. She could not have me smell her fucking shit yet. Yeah, that's yeah. nice. And then now she still doesn't want that's me nice. to, right? But sometimes yeah. she forgets and I walk in and I'm like, like did damn. you fucking eat? A dead animal on the yeah, side yeah. of the road. What the fuck is this? Other people's shit smells gross, dude. It's, it's like weird. it's just like, ugh, like ugh. sometimes yeah, I smell my own shit and I hate myself. Oh really? Like Not I want to fight myself. Oh wow. Not me. I go. My shit is nice. Sometimes I, I I know it's bad, but I'm like it's mine, so I'm like I'm yeah. cool. When I eat Indian food, doc, the the fucking shit's crazy. <sighs> And it's, I'm not sure if it's because of the spices per se, but I don't handle spicy food very well. And Indian people can eat some spicy ass fucking food. Yeah. Yo, every now and then I'll be sending him videos of like Indian street food. And look, I love Indian food. I will say this. I personally love Indian food a lot too, right? And I want all of like the Indian homies who have subscribed to this page to confirm this or deny it. I sometimes watch Indian street food just so I could be like, who the fuck is eating this? Because this shit. Bro, everybody. You saw, you see the people around the thing. Yes. Yeah. So like, I'm like, I can't be racist because people that are in the video are like, what the fuck? I saw a guy. <laughs> <laughs> right? The oh, video yeah. starts with him like, it's like the best like drink in Delhi. Mm. Right? I'm like, oh, what is this? The video starts off with this guy grabbing an ice block with his bare hands, dirty as fuck, and then smashing it on the floor. And I'm like, oh, what's this for? Grabs a chunk of the ice and <laughs> throws it into the drink. Ew. <laughs> and I'm like, this is a prank. Yeah. Takes his fucking eagle claw, which is his hand, starts mixing it with his hand. Ew. Right? Which yeah. is bad enough as it is. And I'm like, okay, cool. Whatever. I still might drink this. 
if I'm in India, I don't want to be disrespectful. Dude. Doesn't get a ladle. Takes his fucking Indian claw, ladles it with his hand, and starts doing this technique where he's just dumping it into a cup with his fucking hand. Oh, my Dude, God. Dude, sometimes they get that they put their hand in it, and they, they use the other hand to squeeze the squeeze juice. Squeeze the and, juice. And then they're sweating, so they go like, this, ah. <laughs> and then do the thing and then you know how sometimes there's the, the oh my god yeah cream puff thing but I honestly really want to try because it looks so good because they have a line they, there's a cream puff thing but without the cream you know what I'm talking yeah, about yeah, yeah, yeah. it's like a cup thing and they scoop the juice yes with their hands I really want to try that uh, there's a comic uh, Indian comic and he said the restaurant that thing is really good but the best one is, is the street one the juice one they scoop it with their hand scoop it with so the Think they they will take it with the they'll touch money right and their face dude the money touching and then dipping your dipping hand into your food hand in the juice throws me off that's disgusting dude. but that's like a lot of the thing so like I so you know for me like I got a lot of Indian homies like there's a lot of Sacramento in people in Sacramento there's a shit ton of Indian people so it's like a lot of childhood friends mm -hmm. I'm like bro what the fuck is this like would you eat this they're like dude Indian people in India don't like that shit what yeah you know I mean like it's it's like in some of like the more like not good areas is what, what, I don't know if this is true. I've never been to India, but this is what they're telling me. He said, there's plenty of like street food vendors that actually do it a lot cleaner. But mm. like some of the more popular spots with a lot of locals is like these spots. He goes, but if you go to India specifically, you eat that, you're going to be throwing up and shitting all over the place. Yeah. Of course. A hundred percent. For my, sure. My friend said he was in bed for three days because of that one. Yes. Yeah. A hundred percent. He goes, so if you go to India, just be prepared. If you're not eating stuff like in well-known restaurants, like- what they're not doing the sanitary thing at all. Everybody's <laughs> used to that bacteria. They're literally, he's like, he was the one that told me about the drink scooping thing. And I looked it up on like YouTube shorts and I saw a guy just go. Yeah. But like, why, like no spoons or and shit? Like what's going on? No, no nothing. He's using the spoon to scratch his back. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, oh, there's tools for this. Like I'll eat any street food, whatever yeah. you want. I'll fucking eat that shit. Right. That one. I'm like, this is kind of rough. That is very rough, dude. Bro, but there'll be lines. The, the people around them. That's the thing that throws me off. Yeah, but they look so it looks so good. All the powder and the sauces that they make with their hands. The chutney, all the spices. Chutneys. That chutney's so bomb, dude. And they don't give a fuck about heat level either. Like I saw this guy making like this. Uh, it was chana masala, right? He was making chana masala and mixing it up. And I shit you fucking not. It was like a bowl of red chili flakes. And he just dumps it in there. I'm like, who the fuck is going to eat that? Yeah. How? Yeah. Line. Line. All the way down yeah. the street. Holy just shit. Just down to eat it. And then he just grab, scoops it with his fucking hand. So he grabs the money, just like you said. Yeah. Grabs the fucking money, puts it into this little bowl. And back into curry. Yeah. Back into the curry, dumps it out, gets like the dried, I think it was like dried, like uh, fried shallots. Oh my God. Dumps it on top. There's like two like, like pratas. Puts it on top. Just. <laughs> Hands it off. After he just wiped his sweat, grabbed the fucking money, and get, <laughs> oh my god! And at the same time, I'm like, that looks so so good, good though. But I don't want a diarrhea. I would love to eat it, but without the diarrhea. But my yeah. thing is like, can you just not touch the money with your bare hand? Yeah, yeah. Like just not do that. Yeah, or wipe your sweat or anything. Or just yeah. don't do this and go. Oh my god. Yeah, into the juice. Into the juice. <laughs> yeah, and like like I'm saying, like I'm Dude, conferring this with gnarly, other. And so for example, like one of my friends, I was talking to his girlfriend. And I was telling her like, yeah, like I think I like to go to India. She legit said, why? why? She goes, you would not survive if like if you have a weak stomach, like good luck. Because mm. she, you know, she goes back because of family and stuff like that. And she's like, dude, every time I go back, I get fucked up. Like it's terrible. Damn. But then I got family, so I can stay at home or whatever, whatnot. But yeah. like, I just know that like in the first few days, my stomach's gonna be tore up. Holy shit! I don't think it's only first few days. I don't think you're used to the day. It's it's fucking months. <laughs> yeah. This is months of absolute oh my death. God. I just don't understand that. Like it's like wh why? Why do you do? But she says that if you <laughs> go to like other, there's like plenty of places that are completely sanitary. Sure. But like the stuff that you see online, it's like, it's like the best, but the worst of the worst. Yeah. So, yeah. Disgusting. Holy shit, dude. Uh, not disgusting. Delicious. I am pro India. You chut the motherfuckers. That means idiot. Uh, oh, <laughs> this wraps up this episode of Jesus Brain Podcast. <laughs> I hope that people understood that I meant this in all good health. If you are, if you are Indian <laughs> out there, health. Good and health. I guess I'm learning English from him. <laughs> You can't just say a bunch of bad shit and go, I just meant this in a positive note. In all good health, dude. <laughs> in all good health? That's fucking gross, bro. It's okay to say that's fucking disgusting, dude. Indian food's great, but that's fucking gnarly, bro. <laughs> this is exactly what I meant to say.
is gnarly as fuck. <laughs> and people know that I eat a lot of fucking Indian food. Damn. It's like one of my favorite things to eat. And I'm talking Indian about food's I eat bomb. everything. I love Indian. Mm. Like if you eat Indian food here in LA, you can get find some of the most delicious shit ever. Banu market, baby. Banu, baby. Banu, see you tomorrow. Hey, yo, shout out to Banu. <laughs> they know that we've been coming to them for fucking years they if hold you guys, it down if you guys ever want to try good ass indian food go to fucking banu out in arcadia banu market delicious lovely family there's a young worker there that i've seen since he was a little kid oh really working that store holy shit yeah now he's like a full-grown adult he has mustaches pubes and everything pubes crazy dude no way it smells nice I still <laughs> <laughs> but genius spread every sunday at 12 p.m and we will see you all next time you can find jason chenny at jason chenny on Instagram and everything else that's C H E N E Y. Remember to add that E. And you got Patrick.t dot Riley. Check them out. They be doing shows out there, stand up, making people giggle and laugh all the fucking time. And we will see you all next time. Genius Brain Sundays at 12 p.m. Peace.